Hey everyone, back again here to uh, jump into the next step on this uh, rod uh, building tutorial. And today we're going to uh, we're going to throw on the tip top. That's one thing. We've got a little tip top here. I'm going to show you how to do that, and then we're going to get into a little bit on uh, wrapping the guides and some other details. So let's just jump right into this today. I'm going to show you here a little tip, and this um, <laughs> tip pun intended. So basically, uh, this is also noted with uh, Matt, um, you know, over at Proof. He noted this in his uh, videos as well, but um, there's a lot of discussion about finding the spline on the rods. And, and one thing, you know, I guess that's more from older style. And I remember that back, you know, when, when we were building rods back at the old shop, that that was a discussion, finding the spline. But essentially with the four-piece rods, it's really, I guess, kind of challenging to find them, and it's not critical. So I just want to show you really quick um, how to do it on the tip top if you want to try it and basically you just roll you roll it like this until it snaps into place and you can see it I'm just holding it and rolling it and snapping it and right there it snaps so I'm gonna keep that bent and where I put the um, the tape to mark it so that's that's the top down here on the bottom is where you'd actually put the tape to denote the spline you can see right here I've got already a piece of tape that marks it so that's also where the guides would go so you'd have a guide here guide here and then we can follow that with the tip top essentially the same line so we're going to have the put the tip top on and follow that follow that line and then you can kind of eyeball it and say okay how are we looking that spun around then so I'm gonna do that next so okay so I'll take it down here and we'll take a look at this so Here's the tip of the rod. Here's the tip top. I'll just kind of get this out of the way really quick. Let's put this over here for now. We've got our, our tape too that they're measuring. So here's the tip, and here's there. Here's the tip. Here's the tip top. And what we're going to do here is use a little bit of this super glue. You can see here, super glue. And we're just going to coat as we do this. I'm going to put a little bit right on the tip. We're not going to put it actually on, um, we're not going to put it inside the tip top. So we'll just put a little bit here, a little super glue. There you go. I'm just going to make sure it's got plenty on there. And then once we get it on, we're going to wipe off the excess. So there you go. I'm just pushing it on all the way. So that's pretty much it. So we're going to just take a little rag and we're just going to wipe off the excess here. Just get all that super glue off of there. And also, before it dries, I'm going to adjust this to make sure it aligns. Yeah, and it does perfectly. There we go. Now, I got to tell you that. Did you see the time that I put that on and how fast that was? I mean, that dried up, and that's one of the things with this this uh, this glue we're using here is that uh, you don't have a heck of a lot of time. So make sure you have this lined out and you know exactly where you're going to put it because in the time you saw me doing that, and that's that's right on, pretty much right on. In the time you saw me doing that, it already is totally dry. So that's a couple things. Um, we're looking at the opposite of the spline. So again, we kind of did it in that one, but we're not going to have to do that um, for the rest of the, the time. Now we have this lined out. The rod will will match up perfectly. So uh, we got the super glue. Now the guides. Um, there's a site, and I'm looking here on the computer. Uh, Carlin Bamboo Fly Rods has, and if you go to carlinbamboo.com/guidecalc, that gives you some info on the the spacing. So what I'm going to do is go down here. We're just going to use this tape measure to show you the spacing, and what the what that that uh, what that says the calculation says I put in my length of the rod which is 13 feet, and it just tells you exactly where the first one should start. So the distance from the first guide is four inches, and when I do this, as you can see down here, you want to start you want to start right at the at the end of of the tip top, not at the top. Sorry, and then just go four inches. And I'm going to get some some of our guide um, our specialty tape. Okay, so basically I'm gonna mark I'm gonna mark it right at four inches. So 
it's going to go right there. So as you can see, as you can see, it's marked right there. So I'm going to, so I know now where to put the first guide. And you can do that all the way up if you want. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to break so I know where the first guide is there. And then the next one says, I'm just going to go back to the computer. And distance to the second guide is 10 inches. So now it's 10 inches down, uh, again, from the top all the way down. So we can just go out 10 inches, and we already see that here. Get our tape, and now if we go from the very top, now we're going to go 10 inches, which is right, right there. So now we've got our second one, and that's marked. And now we're going to keep doing that. So now the next one's going to be at uh, 18 and 1 16th, so it's probably going to be down here. So let's just mark up this whole rod, and I'll kind of, you know, kind of finish this up as we go here, just to, just to get this whole thing in. So the next one, like I said, is 18 inches. So let's do our tape. Let's just do our tape all the way out here. We've got this, so the next one is going to be 18, which is about there. I'm going to take a little bit more tape, pull that off, and so now we're down to now we're down to 18, which is right, right there. So 18, and then the next one is 28 and an eighth. 28 and an eight, which is right there. So that's gonna get us pretty close to having this whole first one done. I'm measure this again. All right, so once we get uh, the guide all lined out, we're gonna grab our, our rod jig sig. We'll go down here, take a look at this baby. And when you're using, when you're using the sig jig, which is uh, Matt, what he has from Proof, this is his little, uh, his rod wrapping tool. You're going to basically align this with your guides in the middle, and I'll be zooming in here a little bit more as we get into uh, to the guides to show you. But I just want to get this started to show you when you when you first start wrapping. So we're going to go. We're going to have four guides on this. The first one is going to go way up here at the tip. So we're going to do this towards the tip, but not at the tip. So what you want to do is find your first guide. It's going to go right on top like that. And then we're going to tape it right on top so we know where, so you know the exact location. So I'm going to get a piece of my green tape here. Okay, so what we do here is put this at just roughly, try to get it close to the, the right location. So you want to center it right on that tape and then get it aligned with the tip top. I'm going to put a piece of tape right on here just to hold it in place just like that. And I'll wrap around. And this first guide is definitely out of all of them is the harder harder one because it's kind of small. But then I'm going to take it up here. I'm going to just I can adjust it a little bit to make sure it fits. That's about, yeah, that's about good right there. And then I'm going to take another piece of tape. This one's going to go on the other side. Just to secure it. And now, this is ready to go. And now, you can look to see That's looking pretty straight. So we got our first one in there. Okay, so now we're going to go on to. Uh, I want to show you just getting set up to wrap a guide here, and we're we're going to start. I'm not going to do a close up right now, but I'm going to show you how to set up um, essentially the rod wrapping jig. So um, book. Here's a good one. The essential fly tire. All right, but this is going to be our book. We're going to set down here, and we're also going to take getting this set up, we're going to take our, our we're going to have a cup, cup, I'm going to put that in here and take our thread, thread goes in the cup, 
and we're going to, I think, you know, uh, roughly you'll have to get the, the right tension, but we're going to set the thread in, in the book, and we'll see how that feels when you pull on it. See, that feels a little loose to me, so I'm going to pull this up and get, I'm going to make it a little bit thick, because this isn't a really thick book, so I might even go maybe half on this book. Let's see how that feels. Yeah, so that feels a little better. So now there's our setup. You can see the whole thing right here, right? We got our rod, and now essentially it goes, this uh, rod wrapping goes over the top, comes over the top, and then you wrap around once, get tight, and then, and then you can pretty much just start wrapping, and we're going to go into that in the next, next step. And we get in a little closer, but guess what? For this, I'm going to have to have my glasses because, um, glasses, right? When you're this, when you're this old, you need glasses. So I'm going to, I'm going to get some more light on here. I'm going to get some glasses and I'm going to show you how to wrap, um, the, uh, the guide here. So we're going to get that started. So give me a second. Okay. We're, all, we're down here on the zoomed in and this is going to be a good shot of it. So we've got our guide in place with the guide foots and you can see they're nice and clean already all sharp. That they, I'm going to pull this tape off once I get this wrap, but we leave these tape this tape on as we wrap until we get it tight. So what you do is come over the top with your thread, and when you're wrapping down here on the smaller part, it's a little bit harder to get started. But leave yourself about an eighth, about an eighth of a of an inch. Wrap around once. I like to do twice just to get it started here. And then what you do is you wrap. I'm just going to wrap towards me, and that's going to go over the top of that thread you see that just went over the top now i've got it fairly secure and now i'm just going to start wrapping because it's fairly it's fairly tight and then i'm just going to keep just going to keep wrapping here over the top there we go until it's fairly tight it doesn't have to be perfect because you can adjust it with our our brandishing tool i'm just going to keep going a few more until i make sure it's really tight I can actually just use my my nail to get it in to where I need it, but you get it to about right in there. And then once you feel like it's tight, then we can start to get to a point where we can actually cut off. We can actually cut. I'm gonna grab a razor blade here. All right, so now we're coming up to the foot, and you can see, almost there, as we go, I just go right up, it's getting ready to go up on it, and right now it just, you can see it just perfectly is up on the foot now. Now you just finish, keep wrapping, so now, I'm going to wrap all the way up until it just gets to about the tape. And then we can pop this tape off right here. Keep wrapping and then we'll pop this off. And we've got it tight and then we'll just keep going all the way up until we get about, same thing about Oh, I don't know what that is, a 16th from the very end. I'm just going to do this to get it tight. My nail. And we're going to take our, our handy um, thread here. What we're going to do is put a little loop in it. And the loop is going to go. We're just going to put our loop in here. We're just going to wrap right over that and do the finish up the wraps. Four, five, and we're gonna go all the way up. Tell me reps I'm doing, and I'm gonna once I get to the point where I feel like I'm right at the end. I go a couple more. I'm doing extra. You could probably do less. I'm doing. I don't know how many reps is maybe like ten, but then I put my finger in the back to hold it tight like that. I take this and cut this off. 
then this goes through the loop, through this loop, like that. So then at the very end, you just hold this up and you can just get it really close, slide it and just trim it off just like that. Then you can come back with your branch, your branching tool and do this. Make sure everything's straight. Spin it around. And then same with this, but that all looks pretty good. And then you can see that's pretty much it. Now we got our guide and it's all in there. Then we'll be able to add, do the same thing on the other side, but um, and then add our tag as well. So we're going to do a few more of these guides, and and we'll get this whole rod set up. But that's that's how you wrap a guy. That's basically how to do it. And until we get to the next one, we'll go from there.